Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials. Now today's video is all about whether you should sell your Pico 4 today in order to start saving up for the MetaQuest 3 or will you be someone who's going to keep your Pico 4 and wait for the Pico 5 or are you simply going to have both the Pico 4 and the Quest 3? So of course today we're talking about this guy the Pico 4 here now, let me tell you something before we go into the comparison. First of all, what is great about this VR headset is that you have these really, really nice looking here pancake lenses, which is what the MetaQuest 3 is also going to have. I mean, look at this. They're very clear. They really do provide optimal resolution side to side as there isn't much blurriness whatsoever around the lenses when you use this kind of headset which is what we're waiting for in the meta quest 3 of course because as we know they're going to be borrowing the technology from the oculus meta quest pro or meta quest pro of course no more oculus now as it was leaked apparently and do go and check out that video which i did post to the channel and also what we know is perhaps maybe is possible according to a listing on Amazon Japan that it says, it states that, and also we did a video about that, so do go and check it out, that perhaps the MetaQuest 3 will be available without controllers on its own. Does that mean the Quest Pro controllers will be um, compatible with the MetaQuest 3? We don't know yet, but what we do know is allegedly the FCC have filed a document that shows that Met Meta actually have a, a additional accessory which will be a charging dock a wireless charging dock excuse me for the MetaQuest 3 and also for the controllers as well which is a similar technology to the MetaQuest Pro of course so we are gearing towards that but it's very speculative and we're not quite sure so let's go to the actual specs of the Pico 4 and of the MetaQuest 3 as to what we know so far so we both know, of course, that they're both standalone, which means you do not need a PC in order to run these actual headsets. Uh, the price will be from 499 for the MetaQuest 3, 128 gigs. It's 430 bucks apparently for the Pico 4, 256 gigabytes. Both will have pancake lenses this time. And what we also know is that, uh, oh, apparently the MetaQuest 3 will have a single LCD. Um, the resolution per eye apparently will be 2064 by 2208 according to reports. Uh, the IPD, okay, we're not quite sure what it will be on the MetaQuest 3, of course. And uh, 104, I'm not sure it's confirmed the, um, the, the field of view for the Quest 3. So this is for the Quest 2 at the moment. Okay. Um, okay, so it is Quest 3. Just want to confirm that we are looking at Quest 3. Uh, okay, we're not quite sure about the weight and all these kind of different things. Wi-Fi 6, okay, Bluetooth enabled, of course. Now, according to reports, the MetaQuest 3 will have apparently 12 gigabyte of RAM and up to 512 gigabytes of non-expandable storage, which are both double the number of what the Quest 2 offers and, of course, is actually higher than what the uh, Pico 4 provides as well. Now, we did a survey I'm just going to let you know that, you know, I was very curious whether people really care about the brand. Like, do they care it's Meta? Do they care it's Pico 4? And to be honest with you, the majority of people now, we had about 50 or so people reply to the surveys, not that many people, but it's a representative of a macro number of people. And most people did say, please do leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about this so we can spark the conversation. Most people said that they just don't care about the brand. So when they buy a headset, they don't care if it's Meta, they don't care if it's Pico. They just care if the headset is good, if it's got good games, if it's got a good ecosystem, if it's got good playability, good multiplayer, good community, all these kind of different things. And I can tell you right now that Meta is definitely winning when it comes to community and multiplayer, of course. Technology, yes, they're much well more advanced and their headsets are much more comfortable. When it comes to data mining and all these things, well, unfortunately, I think Pico and Meta are the same, you know, they're both mining our data the same way and they'll be using it the same way, right? They're both social networks at the end of the day. I mean, I can't confirm this, of course, I can't prove it, but I'm just saying that if we're going to, you know, uh, if we're going to pinch here and there and take it with a grain of salt, then I think that at the end of the day, both headsets must be mining our data. So we can't really say one is worse or better than the other when it comes to that. 
But I think at the end of the day, the MetaQuest 3 is definitely going to be a much better headset. The question is, should you sell your Pico 4 in order to buy the MetaQuest 3? Well, to be honest with you, if you're looking to get a MetaQuest 3, you won't really need a Pico 4 because do you really, are you, I mean, you really need to ask yourself, are you somebody who has a lot of friends in the Pico 4? Do you join the, the, the multiplayer thing? Do you chat to people in the Pico 4? Do you, you know, do you use a lot of their apps? Um, you know, how many apps do you have? All these kind of different things. You know, you really got to ask yourself these questions and whether you want to rebuy the headset, the, the apps inside of the headset again or not. Or perhaps you're someone who came from the Quest 1 and then you went to the Pico 4 because you were curious. You know, what was your experience in terms of shifting? I personally miss the Meta ecosystem, to be honest with you, despite the, the mining of the privacy and all these kind of things. I just feel that for me, as, a, as, a, as, as an owner of a VR headset, I prefer being part of a community that's very active, where I can talk to a lot of people, I can do a lot more multiplayer different things on a standalone VR headset. Of course, I don't miss all those or lack those because I use my PC VR headsets to play more or less the same apps that I play inside of the standalone and I have a much better experience because the graphics, of course, are out of this world, right? But at the end of the day, if you're looking to go to the MetaQuest 3, then I do suggest you start selling your Pico 4 today because the price that you're going to get for it within a few months from now is not going to be that much compared to if you sell it today. If you sell it today, you'll be lucky to get 200 bucks for it, maybe 300 if you can stretch it. Four months from now, however, or even three months from now, you'll be lucky to get your Pico 4 for maybe 150 bucks or maybe 250 bucks at the maximum. And six months from now, you'll be very lucky to get it for 100 bucks to sell. I mean, to get 100 bucks or to get 200 bucks for it when you sell it, to be very honest with you. Now, it is possible that Pico may release a Pico 5 in 2024, as we know that ByteDance are serious in the world of VR. I don't think they're giving up just yet. They've been investing quite heavily, even though the China economy has been whoo, going down the dumps. No one's buying anything. The exports are down as well. So obviously, ByteDance have probably lost a lot of money as well, I would say. And, you know, they have downsized. They find a lot of people in their team, especially in China. So, you know, it's possible that perhaps they may put things on the back burner. I don't know. I'm just speculating here. I've got no proof about what I'm saying, just FYI. I'm just trying to put logic 2 plus 2 and come up with five, right? So should you sell your Pico 4? Well, I would sell it today if you had to save for your MetaQuest 3. Otherwise, keep your Pico 4, have the MetaQuest 3, have both of both worlds. It really depends on what you're looking for, right? As far as I'm concerned, will I sell my Pico 4? No, but why won't I sell it? Well, I won't sell it personally because I have a YouTube channel and I want to do a lot of comparison videos comparing the Pico 4 to the MetaQuest 3. It's really that simple. But if I didn't have a YouTube channel, would I sell my Pico 4? Definitely, yes, is the answer because I'm not someone who likes to hoard things. I'm someone who likes to be a little bit more practical and wants to make as much money back as possible and lose as less money as possible. So I would sell it now in order to save up more for the MetaQuest 3 or for, in my case, a better PC VR. So there you go. All right, guys, I hope that you find this video helpful. Until next time, hit the likes, hit the notification bell as we are going to be doing a live stream this weekend with the live unboxing of the Pimax Crystal. Everybody, that's going to be super, super awesome. Until then, I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.